Most people diagnose themselves as having plantar fasciitis when they have heel pain. Yes, it is common, but it is not the only cause of heel pain. It is the first thing that comes up when you do a Google search for heel pain. In walking, the foot has to be very strong to control the fall of the foot when the foot hits the ground. Unfortunately, when we walk on man-made surfaces in footwear that inhibits the muscles of the foot, over time, this causes more tension to be placed on the plantar fascia. This can cause a dish-ragging effect in that plantar fascia on the bottom of the foot that leads to inflammation and pain in your heel. It's the flexor digitorum brevis muscle that runs parallel to this fascia that you will find that actually has the bone spurring because the muscle lacks the strength or control of the foot. We need to improve the function of this muscle. Another common cause of heel pain is posterior tibial tendinitis. This is when a muscle called the posterior tibialis is not strong enough to control the foot during the stance phase of the gait cycle. Too much tension on this tendon of the muscle ends up getting inflamed and translates to heel pain for you the longer you're on the foot. That's different than what happens with plantar fasciitis. Let's dive into a few self-checks for your heel pain to determine which one you might have.